Welcome to this here, the latest of late shows. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Yeah, so I'm just going to try out some flowery language tonight. You know? Catchphrases, man. They're huge yeah. in comedy. Yeah. Find us here at the latest of the late shows. <laughs> um, yeah, that's what we're doing. <laughs> On tonight's show, we'll be chatting with Don Cheadle and Rafe Spall. Stick around for that. But I feel like we need a weekend update. Not like that one. Not, not... <laughs> That's a different catchphrase. Not that, no. Because we, we talked a lot about weekend plans, and I feel we owe it to ourselves, nay the viewer, to, uh, to find out. Now, Ian, you were heading off on a 7am bike ride with Dave, Chris Albright... Terry the Lens and Robin Gala. How'd it go? The pictures looked really fun. <laughs> you didn't do it, did you? No, God, no. I was never gonna, probably, but, <laughs> but I, I did instead go on a 13-mile bike ride alone, and then I made a lasagna. Well, that's all right. That's great. I think that's... I think... I'm much, I think you made the right choice. But did you, you went, Dave, right? You did I, it. I did it, James. Well, I'm going to give you a round of applause for that, Dave. <laughs> Hang on, so you got there, you did the 7 a.m. Well, actually, it was a 6.30 a.m. start to get to the 7 a.m. bike ride. So that oh, was... Well, I mean, this just gets more ridiculous <laughs> yeah. with every passing minute. But, um, so... but I did, I couldn't believe it, because Rob and Taryn specifically are, like, full-on, full spandex, like, serious cyclists. And it was basically just, like, me seeing their spandex butts <laughs> ahead of me <laughs> for 25 miles, which could be, you know, I've had worse Saturday mornings. <laughs> <laughs> so, and how many miles did you do? A 25 total. 25 Woo! miles, yeah. well done, man. That's yeah. brilliant. That's brilliant. Thanks. But, and then, but then Terrence, you, you carried on, right? Yes. How I many did miles did you do? 50. Whatever. Is it, what's amazing about this is Dave said I did 25 and he got a round of applause. Everyone's like, well done, Terrence, and we did 50. Oh. No. <laughs> double the work, double the effort, double the exercise, and not even a third of the congratulations. <laughs> so why did you do 50? I went with Rob to see some of his friends, and we just kept riding, and it ended up being 50. You just kept riding? Yeah. We stopped at Dave's house for a coffee, and then afterwards, we just kept going. What was in the coffee? <laughs> You'd have to inject that coffee directly into my veins. <laughs> I still would be like... There's... So what time did you finish? 12.15. Uh, 12.15, and you left at 6.30? Yeah. Wow. It's a... I do a ricotta, a mozzarella, and a parmesan. <laughs> And it's just a little bit of heavy cream, and then that's, you're off to the races. That's it. Then you're there. You're golden. You're golden. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That lasagna sounds good. Your morning sounds like a nightmare. It really does. I took a bunch of photos on the bike ride. You did get a bunch of photos. Well, that's because you were with Terrence. That's, yeah, exactly. The man, the man can't stop taking photos. Look at him. <laughs> Even on an off day. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That looks like the worst boy band the world has ever <laughs> seen. <laughs> Wrong direction. Look at that. There they are. Well, congrats, guys. And look, look who's in the studio today, gang. Olivia's in the studio. Yeah. There she is. There she is. <laughs> Olivia. Hi. This is, your, this is your first time sitting in, just sitting in. Yeah. I got, I, Lauren gave me her chair. Lauren gave she you the chair. Me. Well, she wouldn't have given it to you last week. <laughs> <laughs> she, was, she was deep in a cleanse. She was deep in a cleanse, and she'd have gone, I don't give a <laughs> if she's pregnant. <laughs> I'm on a cleanse. I ain't give a <laughs> <laughs> Olivia is how many weeks pregnant are you now, Olivia? Almost 30. 30 yeah. weeks. Oh my god. Third try. <laughs> do we know, do we know, do we know the, the gender of the We baby? know it's a girl. Oh, come on now. <laughs> come on. 
Do you, have you got any, any names? Are you going to share any names? I, I think I need to see her. I think I need to get a sense. So we have a that's list. That's a great idea. Yeah, I just got to get a feel of... Yeah. Allegra. ...what her personality is. Allegra? You're going with Allegra? Oh, my God. Do not share... Na don't share any names, please. <laughs> or, or... Why? Why, Guillermo? Why? Why can we not share names? Why? It's just way too controversial. Yeah. It's we were going to name her Nalo Moon. But then... <laughs> <laughs> Now that's I controversial. That. I love that. I think you should. Just <laughs> the as a as a as a as a highly respected comedy writer on this show, <laughs> you've made a joke, and it's up to you now to commit to the joke. <laughs> and you, you walk home and you say to Sterling, "We are look. I made a joke on the show. It played well. <laughs> <laughs> I have to commit to this joke now." Our daughter's called Nalo Moon. And then <laughs> you'll show her this clip and she'll go, is that what you used to do for a job? <laughs> I named her the same name as the drummer in the bands and that's... And we've lost touch now. <laughs> You're 26, but it felt funny at the time. <laughs> Well, then, well, we're thrilled that you're here. We're thrilled that you and little Nalo are here watching the show. <laughs> we really are. We really, really are. How was your, how was your weekend, Bernstein? What went down? It was good. I'm, I'm getting a lot of weird correspondence these days from people on social media and other places. Right. Uh, I, I've gotten uh, an interview request from a German entertainment blog. <laughs> um, I'm in, like, 3,000 LinkedIn searches right now. And uh, I've been asked if I wanted to invest in real estate in Miami <laughs> and uh, in, like, various independent films. Wow. So I, I don't really know what's happening, but uh, thank you. <laughs> but this, is, is this your way? Are you talking about this tonight? Because what you're saying to people is, is we will, you will only correspond with them on your OnlyFans page. <laughs> <laughs> we should say I, that, Nick. Nick has got an OnlyFans page. Uh, he, it's, it's not too risque. I don't think it's, it's not, it's not adult material, but it's, it gets risque. Yeah. Like you know, any, any, any product that's mentioned on the show, he just covers his balls with that. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it is. That's no, look, I look, no, not in a weird. It's for comedy, not, not in, in a weird way, way. Oh, okay. not like that. It's just that's what he does. That's what he does. That's. Yeah, I think that's... Is, did, did you want people to know about the OnlyFans page, or is it...? <laughs> well, I'm just... I've decided I'm saying yes to everything right now, so... Woo! Next year, Look yes. at the way he's playing with his hair, look. He already... <laughs> look at the way he just... It's just like this, he's like, oh, God, I hate all this. Forget it. Really, really, really I just... I just can't bear all this attention on my life I can't bear it I'm just I'm just a regular guy going to work guys <laughs> uh, how dare you <laughs> well it's that time it's technically Tuesday morning that's the truth of it we're actually the first people to give you the news on Tuesday morning We'll give you news that's 24 hours old, first thing in the morning. <laughs> you got like five hours on Gail King. Yeah, but we're doing stories that she did a day ago. Yes. And that's the that and, and let's be honest, even that's being generous. She's <laughs> unless Gail King is doing a story about a donut that looks like a <laughs> I mean <laughs> I feel like we should tell... I feel like we have to tell the audience something. And for the people at home and the, the people on YouTube who, whose comments we just love reading, we should... I mean that. We should tell you that in the... How long have we done the show now? Six and a half years? Yeah. In the six and a half years, wow. we've done The Late Late Show. This, what we're on now, is the longest stretch of weeks we've ever done consecutive shows. We've, the longest we've ever done to this point is seven weeks. We're without a little break. We are now on the Monday of week eight. And let me tell you... <laughs> let me tell you... You can feel it. 
You can. You can. You can feel it. You can feel it. You can feel it all around. Like, even Lauren Shapiro came in with my suit today. She's like, I don't know what the f is going on out there today, but everyone is losing their f Should we just call it a day now? <laughs> we, like, let's, do you know what I mean? Should we just... <laughs> Is Don Cheadle here yet? I believe Don Cheadle's here. Turn the car around. It's... <laughs> it's that time. It's time for... The news. Oh, now, Steve, what's going on? No, you don't want to do one tonight. If you don't want to do one, just no, say. No, no, I'll do one. I got a great one, actually. Well, we'd love to hear it. <laughs> okay. You got a great one? Sure do. Okay, here we go. <laughs> well, it's that, <laughs> it's that time, guys. It's time for the news. not bad because we do have some great news to share. The number of new COVID cases in the United States has dropped to its lowest level in almost a year. Look at that. Yeah. That's the news we need on a Monday. COVID is at a low point. Yeah. COVID's at a low. It's out. It's getting drunk at lunch. <laughs> Wearing a bathrobe in public. That's how low it's got. <laughs> It's that low, yeah? And other news, airports may soon start screening people for COVID using dogs. According to a new study that came out today, dogs can detect more than 90% of infections, which would eliminate the need for passengers to quarantine. Cats, meanwhile, don't care if you live or die. <laughs> yeah, but this is true. They use a fascinating technique, too. What they do is you get to the airport, they get the dog, and they, they ram the dog as far up your nose as they can. <laughs> They shove the dog up your nose, they keep hold of the tail, and then they pull it out and the dog goes, yep, yeah, COVID, and that's it. <laughs> Meanwhile, the White House has a new initiative to encourage people to get vaccinated. It's partnering with dating apps. Proof of vaccination will now get users on apps like Tinder, Hinge and Bumble to access premium content, including boosts, super likes and super swipes. And as I'm saying this, I have never been happier to be married and not have to deal with any of this. <laughs> There's no way Joe Biden has any idea what this program is or that it's even happening. No, it's not like Joe Biden right now is pacing around the Oval Office like, how do we get farmers only involved? <laughs> is it me or are dating app names just starting to sound more and more made up? You know, like, eventually married couples are going to be like, What's our story? Well, we first matched on Schwing, and then I swiped right on his profile on Ghost Penis, and we've been together ever since. <laughs> Do you, you're off the dating apps now, but you were on them for a while, right? Yeah, I was, I was on there, but it was not a successful venture for me. No. Whatever there is in here that someone might like, doesn't come through on those. Yeah, you, it's difficult to capture the essence of you in an image. There's no way. No. It has to be moving, up close and personal, yelling at you over dinner. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. I'm very relieved. I'm very relieved to have not been part of it. You gotta come up with, like, a, f like a first line every time. And then you gotta come up with a song. Oh, yeah. On the, on the, on the, on the video. <laughs> That's, for me, the biggest pressure I think there is out there, to come up with a song. What would your song be? You know where they do the one where it's like eight images? That's right, right, Lauren? Yeah. It's like eight images. Raya. And the guy's like, yeah. Is that on Raya or on that's, Tinder? That's Raya. Raya. And you've got to come up with a song. You know what my song would be? You know what I'd have? Everybody Hurts by R.E.M. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'd have. And just a, a sequence of black and white images of me <laughs> looking out of windows. Just you with an ice cream, the scoops on the, the ground. The day is long <laughs> and the night. And I'm like, the night is yours alone. <laughs> and did everybody see this? With his win yesterday at the PGA Championship, Phil Mickelson, at the age of 50, became the oldest winner of a major golf tournament ever. 
Yeah. Shows how much I know. <laughs> I was under the impression that the second you play golf, you're automatically 50 years old. <laughs> Phil Mickelson won a major at 50. Tom Brady won a Super Bowl at 43. James Corden did 30 minutes on his peloton this morning, age 29. <laughs> Athletes come at every age, guys. They do. <laughs> this does raise a question, though. Most people take up golf when they hit retirement age. What does a golfer do? What does a professional golfer do for retirement? Are they like, ah, oh, I'm done with this now. I'm going to kick back, relax, and become a mechanical engineer. <laughs> <laughs> And finally, Disney California Adventure is going to start selling an Avengers-themed sandwich. It's a massive panini sandwich made with salami, rosemary ham, and provolone, and it costs $100. Here's a slice of it here. Look at that. $100 for a sandwich, although, as Disneyland prices go, actually a pretty good deal. <laughs> it's a big salami and ham panini that can feed up to eight people and it's even being released in conjunction with the new upcoming Marvel film, Avengers, Age of Ulcers. 